A multiplexer can be seen as a switch where we can choose which one of the inputs we're going to use for the outputs. So it's a circuit where we have L bits that will choose one of K equals two to the L inputs. So for example, if we have L equals four, then the number of inputs that we have is two to the L, which equals 16 in this case. And this is the number of input paths that we can choose from, which we call K. The multiplexer is often written using this symbol here. And on this left hand side, we have our K inputs and we have on the top our L inputs that are used to choose one of the K different inputs. And then our output Y here is given as X, which is indexed by our Phi function, which, which takes as input our C variables. So this Phi function we have defined before, so Phi of CL minus one up to C zero. This is defined as the sum over all our I's from zero to L minus one, where we have CI times two to the I. So in other words, this is the integer representation of this binary vector that we have here as an argument to our phi function. So if we continue the example where we have L equals four, it means that we have C3, C2, C1, and C0. So let us just assume in this case that we will have the input 0, 0, 0, 1. So C0 is a one and the other Cs are zero. This will give that phi of zero, 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 one is equal to one in decimal representation. So in this case, y will be equal to x1. So we will have a connection between x1 and y in this particular case. And then by changing our input vector here, c, we can choose another input to map to y. A demultiplexer is similar but can be seen as the opposite of a multiplexer. So the demultiplexer can also be seen as a decoder. So this is a circuit where again we will have L bits that we call CL minus 1 to C0 that will choose one of two to the L outputs. So instead as in the multiplexer case where we were choosing one of two to the L inputs, we are now having one input and we are choosing this to be directed to one of two to the L outputs. So the single input here is X and here we will have K, which is two to the L different outputs. And then we have our control bits here, which will say which of the output will our input direct to. And the outputs here are given as the output Y I is X if the phi function of our input vector C0 to C L minus one is exactly this index I here and all the other outputs are zero. So again, just see an example where we have C3, C2, C1 and C0, which means that L equals four. So in our example, let us put this as zero, zero, 0, 1, again, which gives that our phi function with this input is equal 1 in decimal form, which will give us that y1 will be equal to x, but yi will be equal to 0 for our values i that are not equal to 1. So in our demultiplexer here, we will have a connection in this case between X and Y1.